Hello, welcome to this tutorial in the A10. If you're following these tutorials in order, we've just finished getting orientated with the cockpit, and now it's time to learn how to bring this bird to life. We'll taxi to the correct runway and get airborne. We're currently sat in the parking area. Sometimes in missions, you'll already be sat on the end of the runway with engines spooled up and ready to go, but for the times when you start cold in the parking bay, you'll need to know how to turn things on. First of all, we'll need to spool up the engines. This process in lock-on turns on your electronics and unlocks your flight stick. Ideally, we want to spool up each engine individually, but in times when you need to get into the air quickly, you can spool both engines up simultaneously. Let's go ahead and spool up the left engine first. Hold down the Home key and tap the Alt key to begin the process. Notice this gauge here. This is your fan speed and it will slowly, and then more rapidly, begin to come to life to indicate the percentage the fan is running at. 70% is idle. OK, while our left engine is spooling up, let's go ahead and turn on the wingtip navigation lights. This is done with the control and L keys. A quick check, and confirming they are on. All good. Now it's getting a bit noisy in here, so let's button up. Bring the canopy down with the control and C keys. There we go. OK, a quick check on our fan gauge tells us the left engine is spooled up and is running at idle. There's no problems there, so let's fire up the right engine. Hold home again, and then tap the shift key. Whilst this one is spooling up, let's talk about looking around the cockpit. This is done with the numpad keys on your keyboard. The 5 key is the centre, and the numbers surrounding it move your head in the corresponding direction. So 4 makes us look left. 6 makes us look right. 8 makes us look straight up. And 2 makes us look straight down. The 5 key centres your view. Similarly, 7 makes us look up and to the left, 9 makes us look up and to the right, 1 will make us look down and to the left, and 3 will make us look down and to the right, and 5 again to centre. You can also zoom in and out with the forward slash and asterisk keys. Numpad enter resets your view to the default level. There are also snap views to quickly look at a certain part of the cockpit. Hold down the num numpad zero key. You'll be now looking at your cockpit gauges. Continue holding zero and tap four to look over your left wing. Six to look over your right wing. Eight to look straight up. And seven will have us look forward and left. Nine will have us look forward and right. And finally, five will look, have us looking straight ahead through the HUD. Holding zero and tapping one gives us this view of our weapons dis station display, while two shows us our engine gauges. Looks like our second engine is fully spooled up. Lastly, three will show us our jammer status. OK, we're almost ready to get going. Our engines are fully spooled up with the wing tip lights on. We'll set the flaps to the takeoff position by pressing the F key once. A quick check of the flap gauge indicates 15 degrees of flaps, which is the takeoff position. We'll need to get taxi clearance from the tower before setting out, so let's do that now. Tap the backslash key on an American setup keyboard, or the number key on a UK keyboard to bring up the comms menu. Then F6 for tower. And finally, F1 for taxi. One, request taxi to runway. Enfield 1-1, one, one, tower, clear to taxi to runway 3-6. There we go. We have taxi clearance to runway 3-6. To know which runway that is, let's take a look at our HSI. The 3-6 is the heading that the runway lies on. In this case, it is actually due north, and so lies parallel to our current position over on our right. Another quick way of checking is to tap the F2 key for an outside view. We zoom out to the runway. We can now see the runway, which as, as expected is runway 36, so we know it's the correct one. If it were runway 18, then we know it was in the opposite direction. 
Okay, let's get rolling. We'll advance the throttle, either with the throttle on our joy joystick or the page up key. We'll have to apply quite a lot of thrust initially to overcome the initial inertia of the aircraft. And then we'll dial it back so we go no faster than between 7 and 10 knots. Control the rudder with the Z key for left and the X key for right, if you do not have a rudder function on your flight stick. Ok, turning on to the taxiway now. Make sure not to go too fast. And lining up our nose wheel on the centre white line. Okay. Now we'll taxi to the threshold rump of okay. runway I've had 36. I've the majority of that taxi short taking the wrong way. There was nothing really to see. And it just makes it an unnecessarily long video. As we approach the taxiway now, we'll engage the wheel brake with the W key and bring ourselves to a stop just before taking the runway. We'll quickly check the traffic in the pattern. Everything looks clear. So we'll advance the throttle again. Slowly move onto the runway. Get ourselves centred along the runway. And then once we're centred, we'll bring ourselves to a complete stop and pull our throttles back to idle. OK, we'll get takeoff clearance in the same way as taxi clearance. One, request takeoff. Enfield 1-1, one, one, tower, you are One, request takeoff. Take There's our takeoff position. Enfield 1-1, one, one, tower, eight. you are cleared for takeoff. Advance the throttles smoothly to full. Check our engine gauge just to make sure that they're holding steady. All looks good. Let's go ahead and release the wheel brake with the, by releasing the WP. And now we are rolling. Keep ourselves lined up on the centre line. Check our speed in knots. As it approaches 120, we we'll want to pull back smoothly on the stick and pitch up to about 15 degrees. We are now airborne, so bring our gear up with the G key. And our flaps in with the F key. And let's just make sure that both our gear and flaps are now in the correct position. OK, we are now airborne and we can get on with our mission. And that concludes this tutorial on startup, taxiing and takeoff. The next tutorial will be on navigation, using the uh, instruments in the cockpit and also the HUD to navigate a specific set of waypoints. If you'd like to join me on that tutorial, I'll post a link in the description as soon as it's available, along with a checklist for you to follow when you're starting up taxiing and takeoff. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks very much. It's been my pleasure.